Space, and this time we're featuring a Super Spicy deck with a very interesting choice, which arrived in second place at the uh, Grand Cup. Obviously, the, the player, as you have seen on Instagram on, or on uh, other social media, is Alberto Cocarne. Alberto, uh, say hello. Hi, everybody. Hi. Alright, um... As you can see uh, on the screen right now, it brought a very interesting strategy, a fan favorite that um, got his new uh, meta relevancy when uh, Stalio got back. And we are talking about Salaman Great. Uh, Alberto, why did you choose to play Salaman Great? Um, first of all, it's my favorite deck from when I get back playing Yu Gi Oh! in 2019. And second, uh, second of all, uh, I thought that uh, it will it could be uh, an interesting choice in this meta format because it uh, it's a very good deck going first with um, Gazelle and the, the the coming back of Stalio that allows you to see it uh, pretty much time more than before, and also playing Strike or Order or all the traps that I played during the tournament helped me going first. But also is a very good deck going second because the transcode access code co the combo is a nonsense combo and it allows you to OTK much much time and much easy. That is that is really really fair and if in, uh, indeed you got flawless Swiss seven and zero oh, and uh, I, I saw that you brought Salaman Great from the very first match up to the last one and we will discuss about how the changes uh, went when the banlist came out uh, during the third turn obviously i will not waste other time for introduction and i will basically let you explain the the whole main deck so i'll start with the main deck and obviously explain explain now, everything shout out to a sponsor the first one being Ra, the best grading company in europe which offers grading services in all languages and all OCG, TCG version of the card you might have or need, which is launching a brand new campaign which you will totally love. This is basically a new cover that fits perfectly the card without the need of a sleeve in order to see the beauty of your cards and to add an endless protection. Check them out. The second one is Squall and Lockland Gaming, which is a safe place to every YGO lover and player. Basically, in there, they offer tournaments uh, for money and not for money, just for entertainment in every format you might want, need, or desire. That's a great opportunity to improve as a player and also to make friends in the best community for YGO players ever made. And last but not least, we have Playmat Per Tutti. They produce amazing custom playmats where you can send your own drawing or images, making it on your own and making the playmat your playmat. I've played with them, they are really amazing because they offer best quality for their products and you definitely gotta try playing with them. All our sponsors link are gonna be in the description down below so don't forget to go check them out. Okay, I played one Gazelle, three Spindy, three Foxy, two Jaguar and one Falco that I think is the, the, bet, the best ratio uh, of the of the Salman Great Monster because with Stalio you all, 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 uh, everything you need is the level 3 monster uh, that are Foxy and Spindy and Jaguar and Falco, Jaguar is a nice extender and Falco is a pretty good monster uh, much because uh, it gets back Gazelle to the hand if you brick, you can say uh, then 3 Buffalo that are the best starter of the deck uh, best card uh, because it starts uh, not only when it's linked but uh, every, even if it gets back to the hand it's banished or destroyed by card effect uh, and that's all you need for doing the combo and try to OTK. Uh, then I played 12 entraps that are 3 Ash, 3 Veiler, 3 Impairment, 3 Bell. Uh, Ash is the best entrap in the format, in my opinion, and in this deck. It's uh, also good because you can get back to the end by Wolf Effect. Then Veiler Impermanence uh, are best entrap against 3 Brigade because you have to negate his monster effect special summon links. And Bell, it's uh, quite good in all the situations and against all the decks uh, mm, uh, surely uh, the best way to use it is against uh, uh, dogmatica version of the deck because it uh, can also negate uh, an adir even if he hasn't got um, a dogmatica monster in his graveyard then for the spell i decided to cut off uh, uh, all useless cards that will be like wheel of the salaman great or cosmic cyclone in the main deck and i played only mining which is the best uh, search and um, it also starts Gazelle uh, instantly when it's added 
if you discard a Salaman Great Monster. Uh, then three Desires that are the best drawing card uh, for this deck. Uh, one Circle and one, uh, one Sentinel Star Stand. And for the traps, I go for two Rage and one Roar. Uh, I really don't know why, and I probably would have swapped the ratio of these two, but in the end, I it's it's uh, it's good even to one. Uh, then three strike that uh, going first are an incredible card. It negates summons uh, an effect and also destroy. And order because I have one spot in the deck and I don't know what to play. I thought about uh, call it by the grave, uh, but in the end I choose for order because. This deck has to go first, and if you go first, you need to have all cards that allows you to to win. And order is one of the one of those. I will move on to the extra deck. Obviously, I will um, underline big boy Stalio go back to one, but I will let you explain uh, all of the choices that you decided to uh, you know to pick. Yeah, that is surely, surely an, a huge boost to the deck and it's, it's a very very good card also going first but so I decided obviously to playing it uh, but to cut off all the rank 4 xc's because I I thought that uh, didn't playing xc, didn't playing wheel and only playing 2 jaguar and 1 falco uh, was um, was useless to, to play them so for the Xyz I only played one Stalio, then for the extra deck obviously three Bailings, three Sunlight and two Hitleo that are normal, they are standard. And then uh, uh, Splash Mage, Talker, uh, Transcode, uh, Update Jammer and Access Code for the combo. And I have only two spots that normally they are used for one rank 4 Xyz and one Link 4 Link. And I decided to play one Hita and one Link Uribo. Uh, Link Uribo, it's a very very good card, I didn't think so, uh, my friend said to, to play it and it, when you are uh, overextending and you have a lot of monsters uh, in your graveyard and you have Gazelle in your hand you can sacrifice, we can say, uh, one of your monsters to, to summon it and um, uh, obviously against deck that plays a lot of traps and who have, which have more than one or two set cards and it helps you very very much, I summon it not quite um, often this during this tournament, but when I summoned it, it, uh, it was very, very good. And then I decided to play Hita because uh, uh, if your opponent uh, makes you a token of Nibiru or um, or uh, activate contact C, you, you have mm, with uh, my previous list, which only plays monsters that requires or fire or cyber's monster, I don't have any, any way of. Uh, taking off the, the token from a field. So I decided to play Ita for this reason and also because it's, it's a good card, obviously. It's, it's not a, just a, a monster to, to take off token from the field. But also just uh, when you are in difficult, you have only one monster, you can summon it and, and even wait for your opponent to destroy it and go for, for a gazelle or the monster that you need to, to, do, to get back in the game the, the next turn. So that's all for the extra deck. And it's really good in the mirror match, I think. Yeah, yeah. During the mirror match is the best, best card. And if you don't play it, uh, you you are in a very bad situation. But I remember in 2019 and 2020 when there were a lot of mirror match of Salamangrate, the the first one to summon Hita and summon it correctly and use it properly was the one who was going to win the game, 100%. It's really good. It's really good in the mirror match. And yeah, I think you basically gone through the extra really smoothly and really precisely because <clears throat> the, the choices were pretty standard but I, uh, I really like the Lingarico uh, spice uh, spice stack into the extra I think it was really good because obviously it fits into the strategy and I will round off with the with the with the side deck which I have uh, already uh, started so to like because I see a see a really a really spicy trap card but I will let you explain everything Go on. Uh, yeah, uh, I played three troll and lockable, obviously for Drytron and also in other matchups. Uh, but Drytron is obviously the, the most counter deck by this card, and it's insane when you draw it. And this deck has also a nice draw draw power, so you can easily see it. Uh, three Nibiru, because these are the this is the card that kills my deck, but I also need to play it. It kills me maybe mirror match or other 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 games. And two cosmic and three twister, 
just to remove back row. Uh, one red reboot that is good against deck like Eldritch who plays a lot of traps and don't play Solemn Judgment or cards like that. Uh, to, to OTK because I only need two monsters to OTK and then goes the match which is a very very good card uh, in this format um, combo decks which goes through to, through Fibrox uh, uh, need to summon a water monster so if you use it in the right moment your opponent stops to play against three brigade they are all different attributes uh, even against a striker uh, Rai is dark yes he can chain it when use golden but uh, he has to stay on the, the link that he summons, so I, I I decided to play it and I, I will never get back. Yeah, it's a very, very good card. Also, Salamangrate, that you think uh, that are all fire monster. Yes, you cannot summon access code when you use it, but you can still play with wolf recycling traps and goes around controlling the game and it's it's very, very good. Um, I think this is it. I mean, we've, we've gone through uh, basically everything we could. Um, hope you guys liked it, um, obviously a uh, huge thank you to Alberto that uh, came here and explained us uh, all of his thought process and uh, gone through uh, this journey and, and uh, all of his choices, so a massive thank you Alberto. Thank you too, and thank you for the experience of the tournament also. Yeah, we're really glad you enjoyed it, and obviously we'll be back with another tournament, I think. Uh, we'll just need to know why, uh, we just need to know uh, when, because um, I think every player has enjoyed it, and it was a really good experience for us as well to, um, to share with the players and with you guys. So, always remember to uh, subscribe to the channel, to activate the notification bell, Go, uh, in, go down below in the description which uh, we'll be putting all our links on uh, Facebook, Instagram and TikTok pages. Share this video with all your friends and yeah this is it. We'll uh, be back in a few uh, in a few days with the with the other with the deck profiles. Stay tuned and we'll see you next time. Bye.